It's so easy to get started making YouTube Shorts, especially if you have the YouTube app, but the app's editing capabilities are actually quite limiting, and there's so much more you can do with your YouTube Short when you edit and upload it from your PC. So in this video, I'll show you how to make your YouTube Shorts on PC using Veed, because you can't technically make Shorts on YouTube itself. To get started, upload your YouTube Short to Veed. If you have filmed your short in one long take and you have pauses at the beginning and the end, you can easily trim the clip by dragging the ends in the timeline. If you have a recording that has multiple takes, you can watch through your clip and when you find the section you want to use, press S on your keyboard or you can press split just above the timeline. Do the same for the end of the clip as well. You can now delete the rest of the video by holding down shift and selecting the clips you don't need and then pressing the backspace button on your keyboard. You can also now select the empty space in the timeline, delete it and your clip will snap to the beginning. Repeat this step for the rest of the video. So that's the basics of how to make YouTube Shorts on a PC. However, Veed has many other editing tools to help enhance your Shorts and make them more engaging, such as adding subtitles so everyone can follow along with your videos. You can add subtitles by using the automatic subtitle generator, customize the font and colors, and even add animations and effects to them. And if you're a regular uploader to YouTube, you know just how strict they are on what music you use. So if you want to avoid any copyright strikes and demonetization, Veed offers a built-in stock audio library that you can use for all your shorts too. Simply look through the playlist or search for a keyword and choose one to add. You can then edit down the audio track so that it fits to the timing of your short. When you are happy with your newly edited short, hit the done button in the top right corner. If you've added subtitles, make sure that the burn subtitles button is toggled as this means that they will be hard coded into your video and then click export video. Wait for V to render out your YouTube short and when it's finished, hit the download button and download it as an MP4. Once downloaded, you can upload your short to YouTube from your PC and add a title, description and choose when to release it. And here's the result of making a YouTube short on a PC. Here are three facts about London that I bet you didn't know. The original London Bridge was actually brought by an American tycoon in 1968 and was transported all the way over to Arizona. And that's how easy it is to make a YouTube short on your PC. Now that you know how to do this, why not learn how AI can help speed up and enhance your YouTube shorts by watching this video here. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.